Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today is gambling day. Oh boy, dude, the first gambling of 3.13 ritually. The Echoes of the Atlas and hopefully some busted RNG. Because today we're going to get a headhunter. No, actually, we're going to get more than one headhunter because otherwise that would be actually pretty bad in terms of the uh, write down. But hey, today we're going to gamble 400 and 20 ancient orbs. So if we take a look at the write down, we have 420 ancient orbs by who can it be else than Mr. Tim Ivorin Thickcock. Okay, like cast on crit like yeah the thick bank so tim like is a good friend of mine um he actually made a pretty big fortune already with gamblings especially headhunter i don't know he, he got like over 20 headhunters with ancient orbs uh this league already which is kind of yeah it's it, you know i would do the same but you know i'm just like a little bit more on the budget side but hey anyways he's going to share his fun with us we have 420 ancient orbs again by mr ivorin and uh the actual ancient orb price is round about 14 chaos this is the single buyout if you want to go big d um then you have a bulk price to pay like more like less trades you know will usually cost more at the moment depending on how many you want to buy but usually round about one for four uh, like one exalt for four ancient orbs which comes to a total price of around about 8400 uh, chaos orbs with the exalt exchange ratio of one to roughly 80 today so the total cost of these 100 uh, like of these um what is it 420 ancient orbs is round about 105 exalts the headhunter price is about 88 exalts that means at least at least we have to get one headhunter to barely break even if we get two big profit you know and this is the gamble for today we're gonna get these 420 ancient orbs into my beautiful inventory and be hopefully gonna get some good stuff out of it so as usual we have our um unique belts over here um, based on research, it's pretty much um, that the ancient orb, the item level of the belt doesn't count anymore. I'm an old school gambler. I still want to have my belts to be between item level 41 and 43. This is what I like to pick. Um, so we have three of those over here. And um, if you're wondering how can you ancient orb slash chance a headhunter in a ritual league since there is no nemesis on the map device, this is true. But we do have access to harvest. And what we do get with that is the infused nemesis. And this is basically the same as the typical nemesis mod. So we can, as long as we are in this infused nemesis um, harvest craft here, uh, we are able to ancient orb or chance uh, a headhunter. So I'm going to take here a T16 Burrell Chambers for the good spirit. We're going to grab our infused nemesis. Uh, ne nemesis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, infused nemesis over here. Let's just uh, quickly focus. Click. Activate. Okay, we, we, we should be fine actually. Hopefully at least. So uh, let's quickly recheck here. Uh, where is the map modifiers? There it is. Uh, it doesn't say anything here. But we just open it with Infused Nemesis, right? Dude, I, I'll, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna double and triple check this, right? So I only had one craft and it's gone. Okay, we good. We save. Let's get some hat hunters, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking forward to that. Best thing to do is never hold down shift click when you're actually doing those. Uh, just... You never know. You, you don't want to end up in the position where you actually overall a headhunter just because you made a mysterious double click. The only thing um, that would actually work is just if you go left and right. So this would work as well. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick the first one. One, two, three. And we got the hat trick of Jebated Brathus. So we're going to do again. One, two, three. Nothing. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. This is, this is how you can do it. If you, if you would like to just do one, then I would like literally do like this because overrolling a headhunter, you know, it's it's pricey, I would say. I, I don't, I, I don't want to see myself in a position where I'm actually overrolling a headhunter. So we're just going to continue like that and see how many headhunters will we get with the 420 ancient orbs. And I hope 
it's going to be two. Because I'm the, the, the profit bringer, right? People like to gamble with me because I'm always like doing a good job with gambling. And I hope this time I'm not like getting absolutely nothing because there will be 105 exalts lost. Gone. Deleted from the game. So... I'm just going to focus here. Hmm. Where is going to be the first headhunter? What do you guys say? How many do we get? I mean, perfect would be all three. That, that would be nice. So, more, more worms, Smaldies. Debated breaths. Oh, isn't that great? We just need to turn those three Wormsies into three headhunters. That would be, like, insanely good. But it's, it's always with the gambling, you know? You're, like, super motivated, and uh, you want to have this headhunter. And you continue doing that. And at some point, when it just doesn't work out, you just don't get a headhunter, right? It's it's normal that you're like, wait, is, is this infused nemesis? Does this even work? Like, did I make a mistake? It's the same with linking, right? When you start checking your item level and stuff like that. And I actually hope that we're gonna get one. At least one. So we're pretty much breaking even. Like, 20x loss is better than a 105x loss, right? Alright, so, next turn. One, two, three. One, two, three. Head hunter. No, not Wormsies. Where is it? It's definitely there. Did I make a mistake? Did I choose... We, we have Infused Nemesis, don't we? Yeah, we have. We good. Did I forget something? Item level is fine. Okay. Just just don't... Don't overreact, Mr. MBX. You're gonna get those headhunters. You, you wanna bring some big profit to Mr. Tim. And we're just gonna get three in a row. How about that? There's a Biscos leash. But we're not here for the Biscos. We're here for the Headhunter. Okay, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Can I do it? Please? Dude. Oh! Oh! Boys, we got one. Ah! Oh. I, I was, I was like really, really questioning myself, dude. Did I forget something? Yeah. You know? Did I actually like not click on the right thing, and I'm actually just destroying a hundred X from somebody else? But hey, we did it. We got the first headhunter, and this was uh, after how many do we have left? Because this is like interesting to know, right? What was the average to get the first headhunter? So we have 188 left, which means uh, it's like uh, 300, 280 something. I think so. So that, that was actually not bad. Wait, 40, 80, 120, 160, 188 was the first headhunter. So we do it at one over here. That was uh, the 420 minus the 188 that we have left. So it's about 232. This times, um, let's say, 20, and this, god damn it, the math, this divided by 80 should become 58 exalts was this headhunter, and the current price is 88. So if I would just sell the ancient orbs right now, I would have made 30 exalts profit. I like this, but you know what I like more? Getting two headhunters. Let's go, we got this. I want to get the big, big profit over here. God, I, I'm like, I, I did question myself there. I did question, but you know, you can't really question the Mr. Gambler. I've done this countless of times. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm bringing the profit here. Come on. Give me one more headhunter. I can feel it. I can feel it. We're gonna get two here. We're gonna get two. Come on. Do it. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Come on. Wormsy. You know what would be also cool? If you would actually have a worm mod with a special effect. You know, something you could build a, uh, to actually make an entire build around. You know, that would be great. I would so be in for an actual worm mod build. So, double Wormsy. Give me the double headhunter. Come on. 
Give me the double head hunter. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Come on. Okay, boys, look at this. Mr. Wormsy, you're gonna turn into a skull belt. Mr. Wormsy 2, you're gonna turn into a skull belt. Let's go. You can do it. You boys need to grow up. Wormsy is for the budget guys. Headhunter is for the big boys. We are big boys, so let's go. Headhunter. Okay, we got like uh, 40, 35 something left. Oof, 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 oof. Come on. One more. One more. Because now it turns from profit into loss. I don't like losing. I don't like losing. Come on, one more headhunter. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Come on. One more headhunter. We can do it. One, two. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Five, six. Headhunter incoming. Come on, boys. We got this. One more headhunter. F. Oh, actually, you know what? These three ancient orbs are my own. I have three ancient orbs to my name. What if my ancient orbs are better? Well, what if my ancient orbs are better? One. Two. Oof. Did you see that lag? What if that lag would have been a hat hunter overworld? GGG, please fix your servers. All right, at least we got one hand hunter. That's good. At least one. So that means we still made minus. I don't like this. So we have a total cost of 8,400 and we got about 7,000 chaos back through the uh, one hat hunter, which still is about uh, a good thousand chaos negative, right? Divided by 80 is we lost about 17 exalts. Which is not like it is bad. Obviously, we we lost currency. That that's always bad. But there was a chance to get three hat hunters and make big profit here, right? I kind of feel okay with this result. I I feel okay. We we got our currency back. Now we pretty much have another eighty eight exalts to invest into even more ancient orbs, and maybe then we're gonna get our two hat hunters out of three. That would be great. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.